Hi, I'm Peter, winner of the Great British Bake Off 2020 and an ambassador for the charity Natural Numeracy. Today, we're going to be doing a fun bake making number block five out of flapjacks to celebrate National Numeracy Day's fifth birthday. So, let's get started. I'm five, and you can count on me to get this party started. For this bake today, you're going to need a 20 by 20 centimeter square cake tin, some baking paper, a fondant cutting tool, a blunt knife, a mixing spoon, and a mixing bowl. The ingredients we'll need today is 160 grams of vegan margarine, 265 grams of rolled oats, 100 grams of soft brown sugar, and three tablespoons of golden syrup. Before you get started, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Celsius fan. Make sure you get a grown-up to help you with this. To start off with, we're going to line the base of our square cake tin with some baking paper. To make sure our flapjack doesn't stick. Squares are the best! The first thing we need to do is put the margarine into a saucepan and put that over a low heat to melt. Once a grown-up's helped you melt the margarine, get them to pour it into a large mixing bowl and set it aside to cool for a couple of minutes. I can't wait! It looks so yummy! To the margarine in the mixing bowl, we're going to add our sugar, our syrup, and our lovely oats as well. Once that's all in, we're going to give it a good stir together until it's fully combined and all the oats are covered in that lovely buttery syrupy goodness. That looks nice. Now our oats are nice and evenly covered in the lovely butter and syrup mixture, we're going to pour it into our baking tin and level it off. Once your flapjack is nice and level in the tin, it's time to pop it in the oven for 25 to 35 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top. So now it's time to get our decorations ready to turn our flapjacks into number block five. Hi five. Hi five. For this, we're going to need some blue fondant icing, some white fondant icing, some pink fondant icing, and some black fondant icing, along with some blue food coloring. First things first, we're gonna take half of our blue fondant icing, and we're going to roll this out into a flat sheet. From the sheet to make number box five's eyes, we're going to cut a star and an oval from it. One, two, three, four, five. Five points. Next, we're going to make number block five's glove, arms, and legs. So we're going to split a remaining fondant in one of these bowls, roll it into a ball in our hands, put it onto the desk, and flatten it down a little with your hand, and pinch it slightly at one end to make a glove shape. Then we're going to take our fondant cutting tool, and we're going to cut in to create the fingers. You're fun. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. Now we're going to roll the remaining bowl of fondant into a long sausage shape. And from this, we're going to cut number block five's arms and legs.
One, two, three, four. Next up, we're going to place fives, arms, legs, and glove on a small plate. Then, using a paintbrush, we're going to paint a little bit of blue food coloring just around the bottom edges of the arms, legs, and glove. Next, we're going to roll out our white fondant icing into a flat shape. From this, we're going to cut two circles. And these are going to sit underneath the blue eyes that we've created for number block five. From the same sheet of white icing, we're going to cut a small star that's going to sit on number five's glove. And then finally, from this sheet of fondant icing, we're going to cut two small rectangles that are going to act as number five's teeth. Now we're going to take the pink fondant icing and we're going to roll a long, thin sausage from it. Twist this around itself to make number five's lips. Now we're going to roll out our black fondant on a flat surface into a flat shape. From this, cut a small rectangle to fit in number five's mouth. And roll two small balls for number five's pupils. From the same sheet, finally cut out the number five to create number block five's number lip. Our flat tracks are lovely and golden brown and baked and looking delicious. And whilst they're still warm, we're going to use a table knife to score nine equal squares into the flapjack. We've made our flapjack We've got number block fives, face, arms, glove, all made out of fondant icing. Now it's time to assemble. First create four blocks together. And then as we're making number block five, one final block goes on top. And now it's time to make number block five come to life. So first, we're going to put her two legs at the bottom. Then we're going to go on with her two arms. We're going to attach her glove to one of her arms. And then it's on with her eyes. Next up, her mouth. And then her number link. She is number block five after all. And there you have it. We've made number block five out of Flapjack to help celebrate National Numeracy Day's fifth birthday. Making me a rock star. Thank you and good
good night. So you've put all the hard work into making your flapjack number block five. Now's the time that you get to finally eat it. Flapjacks, perfect for our picnic. I hope that you can try this at home and have great fun whilst making it and learning about numbers at the same time as baking. If you do bake this recipe, get your parents to tag hashtag numeracy day so we can see all of the fantastic bakes that you get up to making. <laughs>